The year was 1941. I was um, 13. Hitler had started his plan to exterminate the Jews and everybody was desperately trying um, to get out of Europe. Everybody left Belgium. They were afraid the Germans were going to invade very quickly. I always knew that we escaped it just by a hair. We left Europe. Europe was behind us. This was the beginning of life in Havana in, in January 1942. Por medio de mi abuelo, la historia de los de los judíos que llegaron a Cuba después de la Segunda Guerra Mundial, en plena Guerra Mundial. At the beginning, while we were in Cuba, everybody was dependent on the Joint Distribution Committee. They helped you financially, they helped you get settled, and a new life began again. These Jews that came from Antwerp somehow created a uh, diamond polishing business. I guess I was probably one of the youngest working in the diamond industry. The immigrants earned money. And that's how we all survived. It was an absolute lifesaver. So you want to know about Cuba? Havana was the world when you were in Cuba. There was sin. They were wild. They were sexed up. There was aristocracy. You had the very rich and you had the incredibly poor. Corruption kept things going. There was color and the food was delicious. Oh, I fell in love with sweet bananas. Their sense of rhythm is unbelievable. I do believe that in the back of everybody's mind was this is temporary, this is temporary. We were there, we were working. There was between 30 and 50 factories. The heat in Cuba was terrible. There was no air conditioning. I lived with the Cubans. My social life was Jewish. The Cubans, they were wonderful. There was never a sense of, my God, what are you doing here? Never. You were different, but they accepted you. We lost everything, but we did not lose our lives. It was a very, very fortunate way of escaping being exterminated. <laughs>